Cowboys running back. Ezekiel Elliott is concerned about his contract situation. He's not showing it, at least not outwardly. Elliott says he's not concerned about it, and he wants to just go out there and play football. Elliott is participating in voluntary off-season workouts. And Elliott will have to wait patiently as Cowboys work on contracts for both wide receiver Amari Cooper and quarterback Dak Prescott. Prescott is set to earn $2 million this season. Like Elliott, he's unfazed by it, uh, by all of it, saying he doesn't have any worry or anxiety of it happening or trying to get it done sooner rather than later. Uh, I mean, I want to be a Cowboy forever. I think uh, the people that are doing the deal feel the same way. So to me, it's no rush. Uh, I know it'll get done. Like I said, I, mean, I want to be a Cowboy. I'm pretty sure that I'll be a Cowboy for a long time. So uh, I don't have any worry or anxiety of, of it not happening or trying to get it done sooner than later. Um, and so, so, yeah, no worries. It'll get done. Yeah, my whole focus is within the locker room. Uh, I've, got, I've got people that take care of that. I've got a great team, uh, a great team of agents. That, that's their job. Uh, Jerry said what he's had to, that they're working, negotiating. But as far as I'm concerned, uh, it's about just being, getting, getting better, getting better as a quarterback, getting better as a leader, uh, and just making sure our team's getting better. And Prescott was speaking at the Reliant Home Run Derby to raise money for the Salvation Army. But as organized team activities start next week, Kay and gang, this is continuing to be a question that they are going to have to answer there with the Cowboys. Yeah, and thanks so much, Will. It's one that we bat around at the table pretty often yeah. here. And the more I think about it, and I just feel like I've said in this chair and I've made the case for Zeke Elliott being the cornerstone. They run the ball more than anybody in the league. But Dak Prescott, the quarterback, is the most important puzzle in this piece. You look at what he's done since Romo left. This franchise could have gone into total disarray, into flames. Look at the Bills. Look at the Dolphins taking decades to find what they hope are their franchise quarterbacks. They have Dak, a quarterback that's taken them to the playoffs now in two of the three years that he's taken over. So it's hard for me to then not want to pony it up with whatever he should get on the market. I agree 100%. I've been screaming that for the last few years. There's been, you know, people that will criticize Dak Prescott for um, not being a thrower like Tom Brady, not being as uh, great in the pocket as Russell Wilson, not being able to, to, to move in the pocket like Drew You can compare any young quarterback to the greats, but what you can't argue with are numbers. What, can't, what you can't argue with are late-game comebacks. What you can't argue with is production and getting your team to the playoffs. Like, that's what I don't understand the most. Out of all of the arguments you want to make about Dak Prescott, if he's putting this team in position, the Dallas Cowboys of all squads, in position two out of three years to be in the playoffs and then battle with the best this league has to offer, how can you argue that you're not going to pay this man the market Patrick value? Collins? Is he Russell Wilson? No, he doesn't need to be. Okay, then he doesn't make that money. I mean, that's the question. No. It's not whether we like Dallas, do we like Dak, Nate? Of course they like What do you Dak. mean he's not going to make that money? The new contract starts with a I think it starts 30. But, Nate, you're talking like, I mean, it's very banal to just say, we like Dak Prescott. We got The question is how much do you like him? How much do you pay him? You like him more than Matt Stafford. You like him more than Derek Carr. You like him okay. more than... So you than, name a number. Then Case Keenum, you like him more than... All these quarterbacks. And you pay him thirty-two million a year. You pay him thirty plus. That's exactly what you pay him. Because if you don't, then the arguments you have him saving money. I want him to give us the Tom Brady discount. That's ridiculous. There's two main reasons why. One, because I named those quarterbacks that haven't won a playoff game. And you look at Dak Prescott, who's already won one, took his team to the playoffs twice, lost to Aaron Rodgers mm -hmm. that phenomenal rookie season because Aaron Rodgers was doing right. Aaron Rodgers things. The second reason is the Dallas Cowboys. They got the star on their helmet. He's creating a buzz around this squad that quarterbacks don't create for their own teams. So he's going to sell jerseys. He's going to put butts in seats. So he has the skins on the wall. Now put the money in his pocket. What do you think, Shrakes? They win, too. He has 32 wins over the last no, two That's the thing. There's no seasons. question the success. Second to only Brady. It's kind of chicken and the egg, though, right? Does he win because it's Dak Prescott throwing the team on his shoulders? Or right. does he win because he's got this incredible pair of linebackers, the best offensive line in football, the best running back maybe in his division, and then all those great, talented players? Right. About, that shouldn't be his problem. Just because I'm, like, I want to see him get paid, but I do think that's the internal debate in Dallas right now. How much? Not that we like Dak, but they right. love Dak. No doubt. Prescott. Most important player by tenfold. Mm. You lose to Marcus Lawrence, the pass rush is good. You lose Zeke, maybe you lose a few games. You lose Dak Prescott, you'd be the number one pick in the draft. I mean, it's that bad. Mm. They, they, they have a comp for this guy. 2015, the Dallas Cowboys had that guy on the left playing quarterback. Was... Matt Castle, Brandon Whedon, a complete 
disaster. Zeke, Zeke, Zeke just disappears tomorrow. You go and try to find some CJ Anderson. How do they do without Zeke? They were terrible without Zeke. Those that's, games, that's they the lost. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the argument. That's the Thanksgiving game against the Chargers, the, question. the Falcons the game. The question is, would they be worse off losing Dak than losing Zeke? Mm. Because Dak is the most important guy. However, you guys know I feel this way. You do not just say 32 million, it's over. And notice they haven't done it yet. They haven't. As much as they love him, I think they're waiting. I think they will enter the season, and I think they should. I think should. Stephen I Jones. Need to see more. Stephen Jones said a really interesting soundbite last week, and we talked about it yep. where he said, hey, you know, these players, I wish they would consider all that comes with being a Cowboy and what it means besides just your salary. You can live for the legends here. If you win a ring, you can Ugh, never I have to work that. again. <laughs> and it was like it was like just a pit in our stomach. Right. Oh, man. Can't blame the star on the helmet. You can't pay for that. I know. It goes both ways. The responsibility yep. of having the star maybe, maybe means you deserve the money, mm -hmm. but then the fact that you get to play on the star and be on primetime, it helps you. He's the face of a yogurt brand and the yep. face of a Talk brand. about it. Let's get back to the right. New York drama.